How did we get roped into running all of our creation returning library books? I understand it's all just to learn how to enter the Temple of Droplets, but this is hardly the sort of duty worthy of a great adventurer. You said it as low. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm gonna get a guard in my face and I'm gonna start doing more kinstone fusions right off the bat. You may recall these three girls back at the inn. Well, one of these has a fusion. Ah, it's you. It's you. And the reason why I want to fuse with her is because it's going to bring someone to town that will want to rent a house. This guy. Mm -mm. Wow, I just had the best idea. I can rent out my house for some extra cash. And so he does. And that's over down there. There's going to be another house to rent out a little bit later. But uh, uh, that's, as I said, going to be later. <laughs> But keep that in mind, there's only two houses to rent out, so you're going to have to make a decision. Um, but you definitely want the green girl to live here, I'll just put it that way. What? What do you want? Why are you bothering me, kid? Huh? Oh, my Oh, my name's Gorman. I'm trying to my hand at real estate. Turns out it's a total pain. Like right now, I'm looking for a tenant, you see. But the thing is, I can only rent out to a woman. Single occupancy. Too many tenants would make the place dirty and they'd be loud. I like things nice and quiet, see? And this is all just too much hassle. If you find anyone who can rent this place, would you let me know? Oh, I know people who might want to rent. Oh, I know. Back at the hotel. Now, these girls, if you recall, they were looking for a place to live. Well, now you have a choice. Now, depending on which girl you choose to rent out the house, you'll be able to get different kinds of charms. Din here will give you a red charm, which will increase your attack power for the duration that your charm is on. Uh, Ferrari here gives you a green charm, which increases your att both attack and your defense, so you definitely want her there in the house. And Nehru here gives you a blue one for defense only, so yeah, definitely, definitely <laughs> green charm it up. Oh, you found me a house to rent? Yes, I have. Thanks, I can't wait to check it out. So, now watch us. Leave, come back. She's gone. What do you two have to say? Things just aren't the same around here now that it's just the two of us. Huh. Can't believe she's found the place. I'm so jealous. Alright, let's see how good she's making it over here. And look at that. She's already got our clothing set up. <laughs> so let's go in. And hey, how's it going? Welcome, Link. I really love this house. If you have an empty bottle, I can put one of my homemade charms inside. Just ask any time. Do I have... Oh, I have two empty bottles. Very nice. Yes, I would like that. So... I believe you can only have one of these at a time. Yeah, that's what I thought. But so, if I put this on... Uh, why did I replace my sword? It'll change the color, and I got increased attack power and defense, but it's kind of hard to tell unless I'm in some sort of combat this situation, but I assure you I've got increased stats. Let's see here. Yeah, see that? I can take three hits for the price of one now. <laughs> like, it would normally take a qu only a quarter before, now it's only taking a third or a half uh, of one quarter heart. You can't even tell at the upper left corner. And you can get this refilled anytime you would like. Yes, I would. And I also like to show you a little teeny tiny Easter egg, if it's possible for me to do this um, while I am in this coloration. I think this is correct. This is Mama's Cafe, right? Mama's Cafe? This is. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna assume this is Mama's Cafe, but okay. Use the charm in here. And no, this isn't the place that I was thinking of, alas. Wait, hold on a sec. Cheers, you cheers, you make full toast to the. Mm. Well, what I was exp. Oh, maybe I'll. I don't want to spoil it. I'll show you later, I guess, if this works when my charm eventually runs out with another charm. It's supposed. There's supposed to be some sort of Easter egg that changes your colors to more resemble 
Dark Link, but I can't seem to demonstrate that right now. I think it's because the effects of the charm are still going on, so I'm just gonna go up here and meet a new person, because once you rent out the house, a new person will come to town and will be around... Here you are! Well, maybe he's not new, but he's, he's hanging around here. Lately, Muto's been grumbling about how there's no work with any punch. Wish I could do something about that, but I don't even know what he means. You'll soon know, because you'll be doing the work. <laughs> Muto is the carpenter boss guy. Him, yeah. He's like, Aah! Oh, inspiration! I'm feeling really motivated now! I could probably build a good-sized house in a matter of minutes! And so he does. And this is another house that you can rent out to one of those girls. You know, one of the element uh, girls, or a charm girls at the uh, inn over there. A perfect fit. I can't wait to see what happens now. So if we go over... out of my way. Go over to... Wait a second. Is this... this was the house, right? No, no, wait. Did I go too far? Hold on. Yeah, I'm too far down. Did it? It's not built yet? Oh. Yeah, I guess that was it. <laughs> I didn't see that on my way through here. Hmm. Well, let's, let's see if I can speed this up a little bit here. Like, what happens if I were to transition a few times? Ah, there you go. That's what I thought. I, I just needed to transition a few times. Now I can rent out this house. Well, he can rent out this house. Nice house, huh, kid? It's brand spanking new, I tell ya. But I just need another tenant. A single woman like before. Well, if you know any nice young ladies needing a home, let me know. And this is where you have to make the choice. If you want to have two charms in your bottle at this... Wait, hold on a sec. Oh, I thought she had a fusion. Uh, if you want two charms in your bottle, you have to choose between an attack charm or a defense charm at this point, moment in time. Because there will not be a third house for the third Oracle Girl. So... Not Oracle Girl, huh? Elemental Girl. So, choose between attack or defense. I think... I think, I think, hmm, I think I prefer defense in all honesty, because I'm pretty, pretty reckless. <laughs> uh, you might prefer attack to speed up, like, boss battles or something like that, and she's all alone. Sorry, Din, being all alone is, well, lonely. I'm going to find myself a nice home, too, but alas, she never does, and why did I do that? I wanted to swing my, well, I wanted to swing my sword at the pots, but... Ah, I wanted to also save that for that in Easter egg thing, not in um, uh, cafe place. Yeah, all right. So now back at the other spot, there is that set up. There we go. <laughs> People getting my way all over the place, and now. Well, now you're able to get the charm that you would like in this house. Oh, hello, Link. I sure do love it here. Thanks again. If you ever have an empty bottle, I can put a bottom on a copy pasta, copy pasta, and yes, please. So you get Nehru's charm. Yeah, the charms are named after the um, lady you get them from. So here's my charm, and. Let's wait this out. Well, I'll, I'll probably cut ahead if need be until my charm runs out here and see if I can do the Easter egg at the cafe. Oh, running out, running out, running out. Now get out of the way. Out. Go. People again. Dang it. Why? Just, uh. <laughs> Alright, let's try to use the charm. And nope. Didn't do what I thought it did. Hmm, maybe I was misled. Or maybe I get something from somewhere else. Anyway, let's start more Kinstone Fusions, starting with Mama. So yeah, this is Mama's Cafe, and I was told to go into Mama's Cafe via the wiki page that I read on this. Then again, you know how wiki pages can be with things, that they can be inaccurate. And I have no way to access that without being able to swim, so that's gonna have to wait until later. Well. In all honesty, you you probably aren't the lucky one. I'm I'm gonna end up getting that prize before you do. 
And yeah, that looks like I got all the fusions here, so I'll see you at the next location. Hey, wait a second, I just noticed. My coloration in here was orange, but when I went back out, it was blue. So maybe that is the coloration Easter egg that I was supposed to get? And because, huh, I, hmm. <laughs> so I guess there was an Easter egg to be had there after all, but it didn't resemble Dark Link, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, I think you know who I'm going to be fusing with. Because you can hear the malice in my voice. Yep, Tingle's got another fusion. Hey, Mr. Fairy, you've got some nice pieces there. Would you be surprised to know Tingle has a new piece too? Let's fuse them! Oh... I hope you didn't touch this barehanded. <laughs> so, there's the fusion... So I should say second fusion with Tingle. This should make a gold tech type appear... Yep! Back at Mount Crenel. I'm sure you know where that is. Yeah, it's over there. They fit perfectly! At last, Tingle can finally turn into a fairy too! Well, you have fun with that. This part of Hyrule Field here might hold a little something. If you recall, there's a high contrast tree over here. Transform and dodge. Well, I didn't really have to do much dodging there, but it goes all the way up to this hole. And that's what I thought. You moved the rock for me? Great! I thought I'd never get outside. Yeah, I opened this path up way, way earlier in the walkthrough. And this forest minish has a fusion for us. So... All the way at the Wind Ruins, huh? Good thing I can warp now. <laughs> I would hate to hoof it all the way around the world again. Just to get the prizes. Look, they fit! How oh, lucky! Amazing, even! Got anything else to say? Um, no, I guess not. South Hyrule Field. This time... Go this way. Because, you might remember another high contrast tree here. Everything is falling into place now as I get new items. So, let's go inside here. There's an old lady living out in the woods who absolutely loves mushrooms. Anyway, I hear she's working on some special kind of potion or something. Perhaps fusing with you will cause that potion to be finished. And the lady that he's talking about is indeed Syrup the Witch. You already know how to get here, don't you? And she will make a red potion. My special red potion is almost finished. And it's so very special. <laughs> I'll be back in there a little bit later to do another quest involving that red potion actually and it involves also I mean it involves the acquisition of getting the um, pickle lights all the pickle lights in that one middle shop one middle town shop excuse me we did it wow I just know my luck's gonna turn around now man I hope so after all this work <laughs> well then again I'm doing all the work here you guys are just sitting in place waiting for people to fuse kin stones with you go back to the Minish Woods you might recall the business scrub selling kinstones, well, it's got another kinstone fusion, so... Let's go in, and... It kind of makes sense that it would have a lot of kinstone fusions because it's selling kinstones, so it probably wants to try and profit off of its kinstones other ways. And that makes a golden octorock appear all the way over at Western Wood. And now, there should be another kinstone fusion off of it. Yep, that's what I thought. Bloop. And... This makes... Is this another lily pad? Or... Oh, treasure chest over there, right? Or another hole, really. Interesting, interesting. I wish it was like a, a warp portal to the western wood just because it's, it's kind of like in the middle of like all the other warps so it's, it's kind of awkward to go to any way you go for it and delightful and oh, 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 oh drop all right why i am here is because this see this see this see this 
go in here. <laughs> and yep, another Kinstone Fusion. I planted a bee near my house, but it just doesn't want to grow. Man, you Minish are terrible at when it comes to plants. You do not have green thumbs. You have more like beige thumbs. <laughs> and thus, the bean grows, and the Moblin is not in the cutscene. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Hey, our Kinstone's fit! I have a feeling something good will happen! Indeed, something will. Wait, actually, what else do you have to say here? Did you see that? Man, that preening is really something, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I don't think any plant in our physical world can grow at that rate. Bamboo grows pretty fast, but it doesn't grow as fast as that. <laughs> All right, let's climb into the heavens and take in the beautiful sights for a few seconds. Oh, I maxed out my wallet. <laughs> no, 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 didn't mean to do that. Oh, doesn't matter. I guess I'm not going to be warped out anywhere anyway. Um, since I'm, I'm in the area, I should probably go back to the uh, Caster Wills and go and clear out all the prizes that I've been accumulating over there, like the lily pads, the holes, all that sort of stuff. And there's that treasure chest back at the Wind Ruins, but I'll just warp there once I get... Can I actually, can I warp to... Where can I warp? No, I can't actually warp directly to the swamp. Alas! Aha! Oh, I thought I could get past you. <laughs> Sometimes you can roll past enemies and you won't take hits. Alright, so, now that I got all the paths un un pff, unblocked here, let's go around and up to... Oh, notice that there's like, there's little finish paths there and whatnot. Keep that in mind. Yep, Ooh, wait a second. I always get confused in this place because it's looping path around looping path. <laughs> Ah, there we go! So let's transform and start with the... Pff, I was gonna say start with this lily pad, but I can't start with this lily pad unless I get the lily pad back here. There we go. And... Land Ho! Inside here is reward number one, blue kinstone piece. And back out. Come on, lily pad. Hurry up. I know you're not motorized, but still, hurry up. <laughs> Let me go back. I think I'm going to... No! I did not just do that. But I, I did. I was a little hasty there, and I pressed down early before it touched the land. And uh, I'm going to go back through here. And... No, wait, what am I doing? I am failing. That's what I'm doing. So let's go back up through this path of beautiful giant flowers that are really normal size, we're just tiny. And go around flower. Oh, sometimes you can like get the lily pad to move around, oh shoot. You can get the lily pad to move around the flower by touching the edge of it and it'll just kind of move on its own. Alright, left path. It gives me red kinstone piece. And now, what is this? Oh, I already got this. This is where the bow was. Okay, just had to recall what I was doing over there. I think the fastest way through this path is just like to go up the left side and just keep mashing the A button or whatever button you have the gust jar equipped to. Yeah, it's completely clear here for the most part. And land hole. Now, lily pad. Yeah. All right, from here, go in this hole because you can get this prize. And remember, we have to work our way through the swamp as a minish, so that's what these little logs are here for. And oh, 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 <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Gotta dodge the water. Well, not dodge the water, work around the water. That the reason why I want to go here is because there's, yep, right here, a lily pad. Wait for it. It's coming back eventually. There we go. And go inside. And grab this treasure. Now from here, I think... 
keyword thing. I think I got everything. Yep. So what I'm going to do from here before I end off the part is... Oh, I got to transform back to normal size before I can use the flute to get to the wind ruins. So backtracking time and a cut. Here we are. Back to normal. And fly, fly away. And now I can warp to this spot. Which saves me a tad of time, I guess. It's definitely faster than having to walk back there, I suppose. Eh. Maybe I should cut ahead once again. Hang on. Hold on, hold on before I move on. Ah, you do have one! I planted a bean back there, but it just won't sprout. Another bean, huh? Another bean. You guys just can't grow anything. Well, okay, there's that one in that barrel house. But yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna end up being at that area very shortly anyway. Because this is just north of where that one treasure chest is. See that? Yep. It's right up there. We did it! We're in for a run of good luck now! Well, I am, at least. My brain grew! Kind of a lot. A little too much, actually. Eh, it'll be fine. It'll lead to some treasures. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, should I cut from here? I don't really feel like cutting. Because uh, I'm, I'm just, like, right here, and it just seems like a waste. <laughs> To, to cut after that and then to cut, go up just a few ladders. Yeah, see, we're already here. <laughs> so let's go up here once again to Bean Heaven. And this gives me a large quiver. And now I'm going to go over to Mount Krennel for that last uh, golden tech tight, so I'll see you there. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh! Super aggressive tech tight attack! No! Don't you dare! <laughs> it's just, I just like spamming the button in one place. Just because it's so fast that you can't really run after it, you're just better off waiting for it to come to you and then just using your sword as defense. Maybe even using a shield. But I don't know. Oh, maybe I should have gotten this. I mean, maybe, maybe I should have killed it when I use up some money. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> and with that, I think I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. No, no.